Good morning guys. So we're starting our full day. Yes, in Porto Princesa from this wonderful hotel here we are staying in. And we have an amazing hotel here. Well, wow, resort. I think it's a resort, oh, more like a resort, but it's amazing. Amazing. But today we're going to do a little bit something different. Because uh, as long as we've been here, we've been like checking out beach first and foremost. Today we're going to go around town and see like uh, landmarks. There are some nice places, some important places which we're going to visit. We're going to take you with us. down a little bit because uh, sorry I have to hang on oh look at that man scratching go. his back oh he's like blue <laughs> so guys we made it to our first destination it looks amazing here well, I'm one for history I love history we found this amazing place we did go to one before but it was but closed it was closed until the 20th I think they must be 20 of April some, yeah, yeah they must be doing some some um, renovations of it but we found this one this is an amazing place by the looks of it. Um, this is where they used to keep the American prisons, uh, prisoners in the World War II. And uh, they burnt 14 of them. They burnt them alive. Hey. Some of them, yeah. Crispy. Some of them, <laughs> some of them um, managed to get away by swimming. 11 of them, didn't they? 11, I think so, I think something like that. They managed to swim to another um, um, island and uh, got away from the tunnels. The tunnels are not open, unfortunately. But, but we'll show you the tunnels. Well, what we can show of you the tunnels. We can, we can get a small glimpse because we can get the camera through the bars but, and Hopefully. you can see the tunnels, but they're not open for me. Maybe, probably, I can imagine that they are not safe. Anyway, um, the remains of the prisoners here were taken back to America in only 1952. It's not even that long, long, long time, not that long ago. <laughs> Exactly, but, but let's go have a look. Hey guys, so we went to the church, but we didn't video much because they are currently setting up for a wedding. Oh, it's beautiful actually. But it is stunning. I've got some shots, but we didn't obviously want to be too intrusive because they're setting everything yes, up. Yes, it looked like um, around now it's closed, like yeah. um, there wasn't anything going on, just the decorations, obviously, preparations for tonight, probably, for the wedding, and there wasn't exactly much going on, but you have to admire one thing, their faith here is absolutely You can't amazing. shake their faith here. Honestly, they are really, really, famous. like even yesterday when we were eating at, at, the, at the restaurant, Everybody you just have prayed. to admire them, you know, how they stop before they eat and they pray without even nothing. It's just admirable, if you ask me. I'll give you a quick gander at the church. It's huge. It is huge. absolutely ginormous. But it is very, 
it's very beautiful inside. Nothing to do with our church, it's dull. It's Catholic. Like, it's Catholic uh, yes, but it's not decorated with all the luxuries and no. the gold. What they, wait, what they do have that looks like really luxurious is the statues mm -hmm. of Jesus. And they, the, it has How they actually dress them. material. It really looks really I think I've got some shots, so you'll see it on yes, the... Yes, yes. Now we're going to go on a hunt up for some food, because it's lunchtime now. We will start out in later than they would prepare it actually. <laughs> no, we had a little detour because we got mixed up with the, the place for the war museum, but then it, was, it wasn't it was open, so... We had to make our way here. Make we shift. Very far, the, no. the tricycle, so now we're going to head down to the beach, have a look around. It's quite an interesting place here, I like it. And then we're checking the brewery. <gasps> yeah. So stay with us guys and we'll see you again in a bit. So if you watched our video yesterday, uh, you would know that we did some food and uh, well, this is what it's like during the day, it's like a ghost town, like there is like nothing here. It is, it is the middle of the afternoon so you know, yeah. Yeah, it's so a bit of it as today but normally the sun would be scorching right now so it's a good idea. But even like this place just at night basically. Oh, they're fixing a roof. But like during the day, it's like nothing. But then at night, this is just like the central hub, isn't it? For, it for, is, for, for yeah. food. It's amazing. Just flew drone, but I had to stop because I had a lot of interference. But it's probably because we were right next to the port over there. Huge, humongous uh, we think it's a Christmas tree. Yeah, if if, if this is a Christmas tree, comment down below because we we think it is, well, but we're not 100% sure. We're not, okay. But it's coming up. Are we here? Uh, this is where we had yesterday. Let us sleep, eh? So yeah, so let me know, is that a Christmas tree? It is, it's got a star on top. We think it is, but comment and let us know for sure. So we just finished from the brewery, couldn't do a lot of videoing because of will be copyright striked out quite a few <laughs> times with the music that's playing but oh my god wow and i got to try the mango beer they had the mango beer oh, oh geez louise all of the beers were nice i just tried two really yeah. well, one of the beers was like 7.5 percent I'm, I'm carrying my wife home no i didn't want to i'm not much of a drinker so <laughs> <laughs> i was being careful uh, but they are both very nice. I tried one with coconut and the other one was with honey and nut in it. And you can absolutely taste the nut. It was really, really lovely. I loved it. That's what she now, said. Now, he tried three different kind of beers. I tried a few, yeah. I, would, I could happily rum. stay a lot longer there, to be fair. Plus the rum. Yeah. It was nice. We... Uh, we were giving a, uh, given a little bit of a history of the place by the it's marketing the first, manager. It's the first. Hang on. No, thank there you, we go. Not yet, thank you. It's the first um, brewery in Palawan. Run by females. Completely run by females. 
Sorry about the uh, lighting, guys. Oh, no, there we have to go. Um, so, as I was rudely interrupted because my wife has panic attacks when it comes to me crossing a road with this in my hands, it's the first female brewery, completely actually, it's the only female brewery in Palawan. Uh, they have an additional outlet over in America. Yeah. But that's it. This is the only place you can get their beers, really, apart from America. Exactly. And it's worth coming all the distance, to be fair. It is, yeah, it is a bit sort of like it's one of those what they call hidden gems. But I'll put a map uh, somewhere here or here or wherever so you can actually see it on the map and where to go on the actual map. Um, to my surprise, actually, it wasn't busy. I thought we were going to find. But then, to be, fair, to be fair, it opens at one o'clock, and we were like noses against the gate. Like, come on, let us in, let us in, let us in, let us in. And we thought we were getting greeted by dogs, but they didn't want to greet us. They just wanted to go out and play, so they just went out and played. Uh, but yeah, next destination. Not going to say where, because this, this, this is one of the spare the moment things. It was like, shall we, shall we, shall we? Yeah, here we go. So you'll have to keep watching to find out where we're going. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And the tingling, 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 tingling. See you later, guys.